All right, hi. Um, continuing the electric motor diesel section six crankshaft assembly accessory drive train or accessory drive gear train. Crankshaft, description, inspection, insulation, bearing, bearings, description, schedule, renewal, inspection, removal, and application, thrust color, description, maintenance, gear type, torsional, damper, description, maintenance, accessory drive gear train, description, maintenance, accessory drive gear description, maintenance, governor drive gear and stub shaft, distant, description, maintenance, installation, accessory drive housing, application, alignment, rear gain, rear ring gear, Coupling disc, description maintenance, accessory drive, coupling description maintenance, service data, references, specifications, equipment list. Alright, electric motive, uh, engine maintenance manual, section 6, crankshaft assembly, accessory drive gear for 8, 12, 16, and 20 cylinder, 645 cubic inches. Uh, general, the crankshaft assembly is made up of the, of the crankshaft, the main bearings, the cap, thru, um, cap thrust co co colors, torsional damper, the accessory drive gear. But although the accessory drive gear is part of the crankshaft assembly, it will be described as part of the accessory drive gear, drive gear train. The accessory drive gear train provides the power for the from the crankshaft to the drive, the oil pump, and the water pump, and the gut of the crankshaft. The description of the crankshaft is a drop of worn over the carbon seal material in the introduction, hardened main, hardened main, and crank pin journals on the eight and twelve cylinder. The Crankshaft is one piece forging on 1620 cylinder engine. So the crankshaft is made up of the two cylinder, two sections, but the flanges are bolted together with the counterweights to provide with the give the stable operation. All crankshafts are dynamically balanced, drilled oil passages provide with the, for lubrication of the main bearings. As shown in Figure 6 2 of the crankshaft with bolt on accessory drive shaft, they are available in 12, 16, and 20 cylinder engines. Refer to the accessory drive, accessory drive gear for the removal of the installation stub shaft inspection. Whenever the main bearing connecting bearings are removed, the crankshaft journal should be inspected. We check for scoring, cracks, and signs of distress. Um, accessory drive gear, drive end and the camshaft gear end show the 8 and 12 cylinder, 16 cylinder and 20 cylinder um, figure 6-1 figure 6-2 show the crankshaft oil um, passages, main bearing connection rod, main bearing crankshaft um, will generally be up to the first bearing when the crankshaft is removed from the engine it will should be visually and uh, dimensionally inspected by the magnaflux inspected if possible. The journal of the crankshaft induction hardening ex excessive heat resulting from the lack of lubrication and sufficient bearing clearance for the other cars but they usually produce thermal cracks on the journal damage crankshaft can usually be reconditioned in the EMD to reestablish the journal side of the condition to use the standard size bearings in some instances the crankshaft may have the reground of the requirement for the use of the undersized bearings attempts to grind, grind current Crankshaft and feel that have been proven unsuccessful during the regrinding process. But the depth of the induction hardening zone must be checked when necessary. Reharden the required special induction hardening equipment. If they are recommended, that the crankshaft be returned for the grinding to the aid and identification of the regrounding crankshaft. The underside journal oversight thrust bearings will have this information stamped on the same cheek as the serial number. Insulation applying of the main bearings to the A-frame bores to the main um, to the bearing caps lining up the bearing tangs. No, the same with the, see the main bearings with the qualification of the bearings. Inspect the crankshaft to be sure of the clean oil. The crankshaft journal with the bearing, main bearing shell with the use and cleaning oil in place of the thorough collars in the respect of the A-frame counterboards as shown in figure 6-3. Place the crankshaft in the A-frame bearing with the shelves and apply the two end of the two center with the 16 and 20 cylinder bearing caps to hold the crankshaft in place with the correct. Check the studs and nut seats. Wash with the lubricant with the Texaco thread number to 2303 with the screw of the tabs tightening. The nuts until they are in contact with the bearings. Remove the hoist and prank hooks. Six apply with the remaining bear, bearing shells and caps. Main, mainly tighten the nuts and until hardened wa 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 washers are set, set, seated off the bearing cap. Seven using the um, power wrench on the nuts here to have the um, four, three fifty to four hundred foot pounds of torque. I must have been tightened to this torque. Final torque nuts for the 750 foot pounds of torque. Do not over torque. Note one nut on any cap should be torqued to um, 700 foot pounds of torque until the nuts over the cap have been torqued to 350 to 400 foot um, pounds of torque. 63 shows applying the thrust collar in 1620 cylinder with the thumb and print and oil depression main bearing of the description. The main bearing shell figure 64 with the precision um, type of the seal back the lead bronze with a thin layer with lead tin with the tanks of the bearing located with the proximal axle position for the bearing for the turning upper and lower bearing shall have the halves are not interchangeable. 6-4 remaining bearing shell, um, shell and cap. The lower bearing shall have the two tanks on each side with which fit the main bearing cap with the upper bearing bearing shall have the one tank which fits for the, on the groove in, into uh, a groove on the right side of the A-frame board of the upper shell can be rotated with the direction opposite of the normal crankshaft rotation when the lower bearing and cap are removed. 
Maintenance, schedule, renewal. Um, lower main bearings should be renewed with the intervals to specify with the scheduled maintenance program. Upper main bearings are not to be removed when the lower bearing, um, main bearings are renewed unless the lower bearings show definite signs of the distress. Upper main bearings may be changed uh, individually as required, not in sets. Inspection, upper main bearings, inspection, upper main bearings is not required. However, the ones for the upper main bearings are removed, they should not be reinstalled. Lower, re -ma lower main bearings. The lower main bearing inspection should be performed only when the necessary to element of the risk involved whenever the main bearing is disrupted, disturbed. Here, um, the lower of the main bearings should be inspected with the abnormal condition with the observed with the engine with the contamination of lube oil due to dilution of the fuel with the water presence of the foreign material of the lube oil filter screen and engine oil pans. Lower, lower main bearings need not to be inspected with the routine surface for the machine renewed at the intervals specified in the scheduled maintenance program. Inspection sample. Unless evidence is present for the calling of the accident, inspection main bearings should be limited to the following selected low bearings with the experience shown in the most be critical figure 6 1 with the main bearing no, or number location. Number of cylinder 6, and the bearings to be, be, be inspected 2 and 4, 12, 2 and 6, um, 12 cylinder, 2 and 6, 16 cylinder, 2 and 6 and 9, 20, 2, 5, 8 and 11. Disqualification of the criteria. All lower main bearings are to be renewed if any one of the, the lower main bearings is disqualified at any one of the selected main bearing locations and again indicated above any of the lo any additional locations suspect for the other reasons. The following numbered paragraphs give an example of the condition requiring the renewal of the lower main bearings. The one bearing show the evidence of the overheating and overheating condition result of the flowing of the overlay with the discoloration exposed bronze and upper bearing is to be renewed when the corresponding low bearing should have evidence of overheating. The any bearing shown with a milky white color on the overlay of the evidence of the extremely thin overlay indicates the water contamination. Any one bearing with a, um, showing the milky white color on the overlay of the evidence is extremely thin, thin, thin overlay that indicates water contamination. Any one of the um, bearing having an area with the wear exposed to the bronze of the one eighth of an inch or more wide running along with the either edge. If two of the more bearings have then any exposed bronze, note the lead tin overlay with the bearings must be present to prevent adequate safety margin the expo against temporary marginal location around the condition corrosive conditions. Exposed bronze and is healed but the dirt cannot cuts does not affect the bearing operation, but the exposed bronze due to the wear of the does cause a bearing to lose the protection against temporary marginal lubrication conditions. For exposed bronze due to the isolated abnormal wear of the overflaking, severe fretting with all the mating edge of the upper and lower bearing, the corresponding upper bearing should be renewed. Any at any location exhibit the severe threading of the bearing cap, the serrations inspected with the possible damage. Six severe dirt scratches and dirt impregnation result in the abrasive sur surfaces. Caution: dirt impregnation of the and or scratches are the evidence of the bearing oil that is not proper, pro properly with the filtered filterization should then show to be checked and scheduled pressure mounted for the lube oil filter condition established. Our inspection procedure. Visual inspection is made with the dropping of the main bearing cap with the line, while the bearing cap is in it with low, low, low enough to make the inspection without removing the cap from the stud of the hour with the bearing, bearing from the cap. The removal of the reusable main bearing for the cap that may result in the improper the reseating the remo bearing removal will also allow for the possibility of replacing the bearing in a reverse position or at a wrong loca journal location. Either, each, either condition be, can lead to either failure with the initial removal of the cap with the side involved with the risk of the damage dropping the risk replacing the cap backwards if reusable bearing inadvertently removed from the cap during the inspection performed the following determine the purpose of a previous bearing position matching of the wear of the pattern um, parents on the cap board with the bearing back bearing um, back over the bearing if this cannot be done with the new bearing shall be installed this is the only case for the lower bearing must may, may be renewed with it independently the previous position determined mark of the mud pocket with the identified right and left hand side through cleaning of the of the back bearing on the back and the cap of the board remove any of the raised material for the fretted air the high spots may distort the bearing of the cause of premature failure through cleaning of the cap of the a frame with the seriation from before assembly. Removal of the application of lower main bearings are to be removed with the bearing cap. The new bearings installed with the cap before the caps are replied. It is recommended practice to install the new bearings with the part number door for the accessory end of the engine. The main bearing cap of the application removal and the removal tool is available with the removal of the application for the main bearing cap. So all upper bearing bearings except for the number 5 and on the 8 cylinder engines, number 7 on the 12 cylinder engines, number 5 and 6 on the 16 cylinder engines, and number 6 and 7 on the 20 cylinder engines are removed to insert the upper and main bearing shell uh, remover of the journal oil passage rotating the crane shaft opposite of the normal direction rotation upper the main bearings on the journal without oil holes which are fretted with the, or welded to the a-frame board can be removed by using the bearing um, uh, upper bearing removal tool 
New upper main bearings are fitted by hand between the crankshaft and the seal bore. If the bearings cannot be fitted by hand fitted, the reason may be found with the corrector. The engine may have the removed the crankcase remanufactured to apply the main bearings. See instruction for the installation of the crankshaft. Special procedure for the overheated bearing. The, um, the overheating condition to, um, detected all, main, all lower main bearings uh, bearings are to be removed. The upper main bearings are to be renewed only with the overheating location. Additional to route cleaning up the main bearing caps and A-frame seriations. Perform the following measure the main bearing cap seriation special using a seriation gauge. If the gap is closed in more than 20 thousandths of an inch, um, the nominal dial indicator gauge set with a zero with the master bar of the engine should be removed with the crankcase and remanufactured. If the new upper main bearings cannot be fitted with the, between the crankshaft and the seal board with the region to be found with the rectum, the engine may have the removed with the crankcase remanufactured. If the crank inspection proves satisfactory, the new bearings are installed with the perform the field over the check after the break-in run with the new ba main bearing, the cap should be lowered onto the studs at the location where the overheat was detected with the bearing and inspection made. The bearing inspection should be repeated over the heating location at the end of the month of, the, of operation at the end of the three months of operation thrust color description two thrust color um collars on um, two thrust collars six, figure six five with the solid bronze with the semicircular within shape the one face with each of the color has a thumbprint with the old depression to ensure the adequate lubrication they're placing the counterbore of each of the center bearing with the a-frame with their held in the position with the bearing cap of the purpose of the unlimited longitudinal movement of the crankshaft Figure 6-5 show the crankshaft thrust collars, um, two halves of the, each for the engine thumbprint of the old depression. The thrust surfaces are located in the main bearing leakage, uh, leak off of the oil with the engine itself with the thumbprint oil of the depressions away from the A-frame in which they are placed. Mainly the thrust collars will be, um, which exceed with the column clearance limit should be replaced with the gear torsional damper um, description. The gear type of the um, gear type of the damp of the figure six with the hydraulic paddle with the wheel device with the resort of the torsional vibration of the crankshaft with the forcing the engine lubrication oil through the narrow passage of the damp of the damp that consists of the spider with the external spur teeth intermediate of the ring with the internal spur, te uh, spur teeth two outer side plates with secured by the bolt and nuts with the cir circular uh, continuous circulation of the oil with the provided with the damper through the oil passage of the, the crankshaft the oil flow with the chamber of the damp of the damp of the through the radio hole with being with the spider hole at the end of the fillet radius of the base of each of the two for the passage contain the narrow section of the spider hub that provided with the oil flow which within the spider is designed that each of the flow with the direct is blue or supplied with the oil auxiliary circumference for the oil governor groove with the machine with the each with the side first of the spider that is supplied with the oil for the rubbing surface between the spider and outer plate with these grooves are supplied with the mean of the passes connecting with the groove with the radio holes intermediate ring with the ground with the both sides of the upper thickness and slightly thicker than the spider. All right, figure six six. So the gear type damper exploded view um, front plate with the intermediate ring spider and re um, rear um, Rear plate. The difference of the thickness provided for the axle clear uh, axle clearance of the ex axle uh, axle clearance is for the property oil pa passive. The indication clearance between the intermediate ring of the spider is provided with the allow of the flow of the oil film with generated with the tips of the spider tooth two teeth. The four van for the um, holes for the drill through the rim of the intermediate ring with the relief of the oil pressure readjust the um, ring with the central position when the position is displayed for the holes will be equally spaced around the ring and normally over covered with the tip of the spider teeth. However, the oil is permanently with the van within the intermediate with the ring with the one place for the and display for the spider teeth no longer with the cover of the hole for thereby reducing the pressure. The higher the pressure for the opposite side of the each of the two for them prevail for the restore of the intermediate ring with the correcting the position the design of the U to prevent sudden bumping of the teeth, the identical outer side plate with the secure with the intermediate ring with the means for the through tool with the inner plate face plate for the adjacent spider with the covered with the oil with the flow for the clearance with the between the spider and the outer plate for the drain of the can crankcase. Man if the damper that requires no maintenance other than the inspection of the time normal overall with however the damper should be checked for the free for free removing the of intervals specified to be applicable to the spe schedule maintenance program the chance of the check with the can be performed by the removing the rear air hand hold cover rotating the damper the ten degrees in each direction pressing against the inner plate with the damper cannot be moved if it should be removed, if it should be removed and disassembled. This assembly screw up scrap line across the outer plate with the intermediate ring with the outer plate with the almost with the mark of the relationship with the spider outer plate with the boom locks will be used during the um, re reassembly of the unit. Um, using a one and by one one and one eighth of an inch thin wall socket to remove the nine three quarter inch bolts, washers, nuts, and damp from the damper. They use the five sixteenth of an wall socket to remove the five eighth of an inch, uh, three five eighth of an inch bolt from the washer from the nut from the damper. Move the front plate intermediate ring of the spider from the rear plate. The inspection inspect the four view um, prevent holes of the intermediate ring for the uh, sludge of the other obstruction, remove the debris from the wire with the thin metal rod, with the clean the oil with the spire with the wire with the thin metal with the rod, clean all the components of the fuel oil with examine all the surfaces with excessive drenching or scoring. 
One assembly, on plate for the front, on plate, on the stamp, uh, the serial number for the part with the number facing down, and all the coating with the engine oil, with the all contact with the surface between the spider for the inner, the ring with the inner and outer plates. Place the spider on the front plate with the stamp of the front facing down the line with the scribed mark on the spider to line with the on the front plate. Place the intermediate ring on the front plate with the internal teeth mesh for the teeth of the spider scribe the marks with the ring aligned with the mark of the front plate. And position the rear plate with the intermediate ring aligned with the scribed marks. Apply the Texaco thread next number 2303 to the threads of the three through five eighths of an inch body bolts and install the bolts for the butt washer five eighths of an inch um, holes over the rear plate intermediate ring in the front plate install the five eighths of an inch washer and that with the torque of the, the 150 foot pound of torque apply the Texaco thread next uh, thread X number to 2303 with the threads for the nine three quarter inch bolts install the bolts and washer remain the hole for the rear plate wash Secure with the washer with nuts torqued at 240 foot pounds of torque. Install the, install the damper to the crankshaft with the side of the spiral stamp front with the facing away from the engine. A zero stamp uh, above the one of the mounting holes is to be applied with the number of the one of the crank panel. Apply the Texaco thread X number 2303 with the mounting of the bolt heads. Thread and install with the eight mounting bolts of the hard washer. Torque at specified value. Accessory drive gear. Train. The accessory drive gear train is located on the front of the engine. Provide the um, figure six five six, figure six seven power that um, the provides the power for the crankshaft to drive the oil pump for the water pump and the and the governor. The gear train consists for the accessory drive gear with the scavenging oil pump gear for the main loop oil pump gear. Right and left hand water pump gears and the governor will drive gear. Maintenance. Unless the complete engine is disassembled, the re being undertaken is unlikely to enter. Entire tra gear train would be removed from the engine at one time. The water and pumps oil pump for the governor drive the assembly can be removed from the gear train as as, as an individual unit. Remove the accessory drive gear or the governor drive gear requires removal of the realignment of the accessory drive housing. Figure 6 7 shows the accessory drive gear train. Um, starting from the bottom, scavenging oil pump gear, the accessory drive gear, um, the water pump gear, the water main loop, air and piston cooling oil pump gear, the water pump gear, the governor drive gear, the governor drive splinge, flange, and water pump gear. Um, accessory drive gear. Description The coil spring of the design accessory drive gear, the figure 768 with the damp of the transmission crankshaft, the torsional vibration of the accessory gear train with the accessory drive gear, meshes directly with the provided with the derived with the lubricating oil skull, scavenging pump of the main loop oil and piston cooling oil pump maintenance for the accessory drive gear should be removed at the inspection at the time of the completing of the engine overhaul. The accessory drive gear required for the very little maintenance of the inspection intervals. It should be disassembled the inspection with the parts. Parts should show the obvious damage should be replaced. Removal of the following removal of the procedure applied with the gear of the mount with the standard chain shaft with the gears mounted on the bolts of the subshaft. <coughs> Alright, 6 eight show the accessory drive gear exploded view. You have your bolts, oil slinger, disc, spring segments with cooling coil springs, gear, hub, disc, dowels, and hub and disc. Standard crankshaft. Move the four accessory drive gear for the mounting bolt for the hardening washer with the gear of the gear of the crankshaft. Remove the oil slinger, remove the gear from the crankshaft bolt on stub shaft. The accessory drive gear on mounting of the bolt also secure the bolts on the stub shaft of the crankshaft prior to the removal of the mounting bolts apply with the blocking the secure gear with the stub shaft holding device. Remove the four oil slinger mounting bolts and remove the oil slinger from the gear. Remove the six spring with the uh, head of the Mounting bolts and hardening washers to give the gear and stub shaft the crankshaft. Move the gear and the stub shaft of the crankshaft bolt on the stub shaft for the identification groove. The current with the configuration stub shaft, stub shaft is one eighth of an inch of the width wide groove on the face of the, over the small end of the tamp of the stub shaft is mounted on the crankshaft with the two one half inch by thirteen retention bolts. Always remove the application with the accessory drive gear with the crankshaft damper without removing the stub shaft from the crankshaft. One, remove the four slinger mounting mounting bolts with the remove the oil slinger from the gear. With the remove the six blind with the head molting head mounting bolts from the hardening washer secure gear with the, with the subshaft. Remove the gear from the subshaft. The gear should be inspected with the rough of the scored surface with the gear to well, magnify the inspector is aware of the axis for the maximum limit occurred for the drive of the side of the hole of the gear should be reversed. The serial number of the side of the gear is placed in adjacent with the oil slinger of the original installation. The identify the drive side of the gear is reversed. The original serial number should be to the ground off should be ground off the re stamped on the opposite side of the max. Maximum of the bore diameter is um, permissible to provide with the hub of the gear clearance that does not exceed the maximum limit of the bore may be chrome plated with the reground of the new mesh. The hub of having a 7.4975 uh, 4975 inches diameter may be used with the maximum hub to clear the clearance clearance does not exceed. This may be reused to provide the spring segment of the bore that does not exceed the maximum diameter or otherwise in good conditions. Spring, spring segments. Spring segments should be marked with the problem prior to the disassembly relative position and into the gear. Where it should be checked on the right hand segment half of the view to a 12 o'clock position where the segment of contact with the gear board with the driving of the gear. If the wear and points would exceed the maximum limit of the segment half, it should be replaced. Reassembling the spring segment to relocate the segment originally with the drive side with the 
drive side with the replace the play for the replacement segment of the drive side with the gear springs. The springs may be reused, providing with a preload exists if the assembly with the spring of the segments in the gear phosphate treatment. It's recommended that the gear hub and the disc of the segment of the phosphate is treated with the before reassembly assembly. Before reassembly, the drive gear, be sure of all the parts of the clean and well lubricated with the slot be placed with the slotted disc on the bench with the sliding face down with the ply with the gear over the disc, aligned with the holes of the gear and the disc. Play for the coil spring between the two segments with the tab the downs assembly the press together start into the, the gear drive with the assembly all the way down using the raw hide. Mallet until the tabs are ear early. Enter the slot with the disc. Repeat the operation. Remaining spring assembly after they have been placed and installed with the hub and into the gear board. With the repair, repair, remaining the spring assembly after they are in place. Install the hub gear board with the ply with the top of the disc. Line up the dual, dowel holes in the both of the disc and hub the ply with the dowels and snug dowel fit. And they should be found by, maintained by reaming the if necessary. Apply, um, applying oversized uh, dowels of block. bolt nut, nut should be um, used and clamped the assembly together with it until it is applied to the crankshaft. Installation of the following procedure apply with the crankshaft mount of the gears to bolt on the subshaft mounting mounted gears. In crankshaft mount, install the accessory drive gear on the crankshaft line with the mounting holes with the holes of the crankshaft and sit. Install the oil sling and aligning the bolt mounting bolts within the hole of the holes in the gear. Three, lubricate the four mounting bolts with the Texaco thread X number 2303. Install the buttons and hardened wash for the torque of the specified value. Bolt on the subshaft mount. Place the gear on the subshaft line in the mounting hole. Place the gear shaft in the subshaft against the crankshaft line in the mounting hole for the subshaft of the crankshaft. Lubricate six um, spline he head of the mounting bolts with the Texaco thread X number 2303. Install the bolts from the hard hardening washing the torque of the specified value. St um, secure the oil spring to the gear with the four mounting bolts with the torque of the 24 foot pounds of torque bolt on the subshaft of the identification group that, um, mounted. If the subshaft has been not installed, the line the subshaft for tension bolt holes within the hole of the crankshaft to secure the subshaft of the crankshaft within two, three, one, two, one and a half by thirteen, one and a half, thirteen bolts torque to the specified value. Place the gear at the top of the line with the mounting hole. With lubricate this explain with the heading for the mount of the bolts. Tactics thread X number two three zero three. Within install the bolts and the hardening washer torque nuts. Um, the torque to the specified value. Secure the oil spring slinger to the um, gear with the four mounting bolts of the torque of the twenty four foot bolt and pounds of torque. The governor and drive gear and Stub shaft description. The governor drive gears mounted with the governor drive shaft to, um, drive stub shaft. With the figure in six nine that drive them with the main loop. The oil piston cooling pump with the gear with the governor drive that is usually drive to the right or left flank with the water pump with the governor drive assembly. Maintenance for the governor drive gears the sub shaft require no maintenance of the over than the inspection at the time of the normal overhaul. Figure six nine shaft with the governor drive gear and the stub shaft. The sub shaft, the sub shaft dowel with the gear in the bush and the retaining plate with the governor and the drive flange. Um, inspect the gear teeth with the indi 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 indications, cracks and pits, other evidence for the failure of the possible magnaflux inspection should be performed. Inspect the gear of the bushing and the sub shaft for the, uh, for the gouges for the other gate damage. Ensure the sub shaft and the oil patches is not plugged. Insulation position the sub shaft on the crank um, case with the oil in the on the left side with the gear of the sub shaft with the crank shaft using four one and a half, half twenty tw x. Uh, Drill, drill bolts. Do not torque the bolts at this time. At this time, the ply with the governor drive gear with some of the subshaft plus the, place the dummy main loop of the oil pump gear on top of the accessory drive gear with the teeth mesh within the accessory drive gear with the governor drive gear with the raise and lower the governor drive with the gear stub shaft and the backlash between the governor drive and the main loop of the oil pump gear is um, sixteen thousandths to three thirty-two thousandths of an inch. Since the dummy and the oil pump of the gear is resistant resting with the accessory drive gear with the zero backlash backlash between the dummy the gear and the governor drive gear is twice as normal. The requirements of the state to sixteen thousandths of an inch. Remove um ream the two dowel holes for the governor drive of the sub shaft at um zero point four nine thousandths of an inch um tamp at the rear end four nine four thousand nine hundred and ninety eight to as of an inch plus or minus two Ten thousand an inch um, bottom of the rear rim, rim, rimmer being secure and the cutting of the oil. Note that the dowel holes on the governor drive shaft shaft do not align with the holes on the crankcase drill with the rim with the oversized dowel that is required to produce the full circumference fit. See parts of the catalog listing oversized dowel with using a dowels using air and hose to blow the chip of the oil out of the dowel holes. Insert the for one quarter inch twenty eight bolts um twenty eight bolts of um, one quarter inch into the dowel pin pins. Ten plate for dowels and dowel holes in the subshaft drive of the crankcase and plate with the torque of the dowel bolts. Um, seventeen foot pounds of torque, lock wire, subshaft mounting bolts and dowel poles into the group of, th of three or less. Apply the gasket between the oil jumper and the oil patches on the subshaft. Secure the oil line of the subshaft using two three eighths of an inch twenty four hex headed drill bolts and torque to the thirty five foot pounds of torque and lock wire mounting bolts. Apply governor drive gear to the subshaft and solve retaining plate with the secure the subshaft using three eighths of an inch twenty four hex head bolts torque to the thirty five pounds of torque. 
Lock wire retaining from play from the mounting of the wolf supply. The governor drive plan for the governor drive the gear for the screw of the six three eight inch twenty four hex head drill drive with the drill um bolt torqued at thirty five foot pounds. Lock wire flanges to the two groups of three bolts for the each accessory driving housing of application and alignment. The following procedure provided the proper alignment with the accessory drive housing and accessory drive of the governor drive the assembly for the subsequent application for the wire loop oil pumps applying seal and compounds accessory drive of the housing mounting bolt flange apply the gasket place the mounting bolts of the washer and the housing of the mount mounting hole for the use of the holding fixture in a suitable um, figure f- file 758 suitable lifting device positioning and positioning holding of the crankcase gear with the mount- one of the mounting bolts on each side of the housing figure 610 remove the holding of fixture and from the housing hand tight and all the mounting bolts that have the left of the hand of the water pump alignment the gauge to the left pump the opening of the hose opening of the housing so that the gear um, gauge gear teeth the mesh for the governor governor drive gear apply right handed water pump alignment with the gear to the right pump of the opening in the house the, for the gear train gear teeth mesh for the governor drive with the gear um, uh, eight Apply with the gear, um, pump alignment with the um, gauge to the main oil pump with the opening of the housing so with the gear gate to gauge gear, gauge to gear teeth mesh for the accessory drive gear with the same gauge is also used to align with the housing with the governor drive gear. Apply the another oil pump alignment gauge to the scavenging oil pump with the opening of the house so that the gear gauge gear teeth mesh over the accessory drive gear. Ten position the jack tool over the end of the accessory drive shaft until the adjusting nuts are in line with accessory drive opening, um, figure 6, 11, and, um, movement of the vertical adjusting nuts will affect with the gauging reading for the governor drive of the gear and accessory drive gear whether they're taken with the alignment of the gauge supplied with the main loop oil pump opening. Our figure 6, 10 show the accessory drive housing positions, accessory drive housing holding fixture, um, 611 show that your accessory drive housing alignment that you have the jacking tool, gauge file, gauge file, um, 763, 761, 762, um, and jacked, um, tool file 760. Alright, movement of the horizontal adjusting nuts will affect with the gauge reading of the accessory drive with which is taken in alignment with the gauge applied with the scavenging oil pump with the edge and if the insert the spline, the spline of the end of the jack tool into the spline of the governing drive gear flange and the adjusting nut the in the line with the governor drive opening adjust the nuts should be the horizontal position figure six eleven the movement the adjusting the nuts effect with the gauge reading of the, of the governor drive with gear with the taking of the alignment of the gauge mount on the water pumps opening adjust the pump both jacket tools with all four gauges that indicated within eighteen thousand uh, eighteen thousand sixteen thousand with the inch clearance with the gauge with the um, clear and gauge clears um, with the engine mounted gears. Disengage with the gear line with the gauge with the mount with the main line of opening pump, oil pump with the opening for the accessory drive gear with the rotated approximately 180 degrees to match for the governor drive gear with the recheck at all the gauge indications at um, 8,000 8, 8, or 16,000 of an inch clearance. Tighten the four mounting with the preferably one over the, each of the side on one top at the, the bottom of the move of the both jacks to from the dual, um, housing. Check the alignment of the gauge for the indication of within 8,000 16,000 of an inch. Tightening the remaining of the housing bolt nuts at 65 foot pounds of torque. All right, um, 612 show the rear ring gear and coupling disc uh, insulation, crankshaft coupling disc, uh, ring gear, crankshaft coupling disc, crankshaft ring gear, coupling disc, disc, ring gear and coupling disc flywheel. The description of the ring gear and figure 612 with the jeep of the engine equipped with the starting motion, uh, starting motor of the engine with the teeth of the ring with the gears rotate for the crankshaft of the engine starting the select for the crankshaft position when you for the engine turn gear with the device the ring gear pilot for the engine side with the coupling disc that's bolted with the coupling disc and the coupling disc surface of the coupling between the engine crankshaft the drive shaft, um, the dry deer, degree of the top of the dead center marking that are tam- tam- stamped on the outer rim of the coupling disc that has also provided the round with the circumference of the rim and the insertion of the ter- turning bar to the manually rotate with the crankshaft maintenance and the inspection of the engine with the coupling with the disc for the cranks for the damage for the surface of the inspection coupling disc for the crankshaft bolt holes elongation of the frag- um, fretting of the bolt hood head of the remaining of the surface and the surface of the thread of the airs may be spotted at 16th inch depth as long as the minimum thick um, disc thickness of the maintained. So you serve the dev for the film um, for limited to each of the generator coupling disc that should be for the uh, qualified with whenever the engine over the odd generator as I remove the maximum trouble the free performance engine 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 generator coupling but they can be best with the insured with careful magnetic particle the inspection of both of the disc prior to the, their reuse the inspection but particularly important to know that the coupling has been subjected to the unusual stress. Engine coupling disc of the same type of the internal chamber will provide the top dead center point of the location, um, point of location on the engine of the same, but the serrated coupling was assembled without using the body beyond bound bolts for this the region with no ream hole. All the room bolts are same with the side of the coupling disc should be applied with the crankshaft with the small O marks that on the coupling disc for the crankshaft consigning with this will position with the coupling with the pointer at zero degrees mark on the rim of the where number one top position is in top dead center. Apply the Texaco thread next number to 2303 with the engine coupling with the bolts tightening to the torque value of the 100 
1,200, 1,800 foot-pounds of torque on the 8 and 12 and 16 cylinders and uh, 1,350 pounds of torque on the 20 cylinder engine with the tighten the run bolts of the uniformly to avoid cocking the coupling of the variation of the torque value of the 290 foot-pounds of torque. The gap in between the coupling halves of the rim bolts should not be less than a minimum after the rim bolts have been properly torqued. Cocking the coupling bolts must be applied with the chamfered side of the head plate for the adjacent with the crankshaft filled with the fun. Base run out, run out rim of the leg eccentric key should be checked with the, after the ins installation with the coupling diff of the crankshaft with the crankshaft position with the void or interlaced interface with the eccentricity of the rim outside of the diameter running out of the rim face should um, not exceed the maximum indicator of the reading of the listed and serve the dab. The accessory drive coupling description. The accessory drive coupling assembly in figure 613 bolted with the key and tampered front of the, of the crankshaft with the drive with the power taking off the connection component driven from the front of the, of the, of the 613 show of the accessory with the drive gear coupling. From the front of the engine, the same application with the coupling bolt and the tampered subshaft. The uh, maintenance of the accessory drive coupling does not require any of the routine maintenance however, the replacement of the rubber center bolt bounded, bounded joints if there may be required for the desired see applicable maintenance instruction for the replacement of the rubber joints. Coupling application for the coupling has been removed. The essential that the proper application procedure you to avoid severe damage if the crankshaft of the either the driven out of the engine or driven out driven unit or the engine. Prior to the mounting of the coupling with the crankshaft with the subshaft, inspect the two tapered surfaces for the ensure the mating surface of the free and nick from the burrs. Use aluminum oxide cloth of the 180J grit to the clean tapered surface of the crankshaft key with a slot. Hand fit the two one and a half inch, um, two one and a half inch, um, two one and a half inch keys to the tighten see, um, to tighten the engine with the key slot with the tape to, um, tape the key into the slot so that the end of the key is flush with the end of the crankshaft. Note that if the key slides in the in the key way and scrap the key, if the fitting of the coupling over the shaft, making sure that the key remains flush at the end of the controller shaft. Lubricate the threads on the retaining bolt on the both side of the washer. Texaco thread X number of torque and remaining the um, bolt um, 100 foot pounds of torque. Apply that has the dial indicated with the coupling with the bolt and bottom of button on the indicator accessory housing with the one, um, one of the studs with the coupling zero of the indicator. Torque the retaining um, bolt at 500 foot pounds of torque will require for the advance of the measure for the nearest of the thousand failure to obtain the reading within the limits to give it in the surface of the tab that is usually called the imperfection found within one of the tampered surfaces within the key wave. The surface should be free of all nicks and burrs. 7. In, install the lock, spring lock washer, 1 half inch, 20 um, bolt in head, retaining bolt torque, 80, um, 16 foot pounds of torque. While the dial indicator button is resting on the outside of the diameter, coupling flange record the TIR of the rim to be ensured that it does not exceed the limits of the given in the service data. Are your service data crankshaft assembly and accessory drive gear train? References the line with the local one of the recording rotating equipment. The specification with the clearance dimension and limit is listed before it is um, defined as uh, the valve. New limits for those the width of the new parts are manufactured rolling tolerances. Man minimum and maximum tolerance measurements to provide with the surface limit of the time of the rebuild. Any time of the unscheduled maintenance performed, the surface limit is should not exceed the age of the engine components with the limits of the may be used. Assurance that it will perform satisfactorily until the next scheduled overhaul. Crankshaft the diameter new main, main journal new and minimum. Minimum dram, diameter of the crank pen journal, um, new and minimum clearance diam diametric, um, new main bearing of the crankshaft, new and maximum thrust bearing of the 8 and 12 cylinder, um, new and maximum 16 and 20 cylinder, new and maximum thrust bearing collar. Thickness 16 and 20 cylinder, 12 cylinder, accessory end gear, train, black lash, all drive gears, new maximum, accessory drive gear, hub to the gear, into the clear, gear clear, clearance, new and maximum, diamond of the gear spring with a segment of the hole, the 8 and 12 cylinder, 16 and 20 cylinder, wearing the drive gear of the side of the gear maximum. Gear board diameter new and maximum um, if the hub of the ma ma maximum clearance is not exceed the hub of the outside minimum if the hub of the gear maximum clearance is not exceed with the disc spring with the segment of the bore of the 18 12 cylinder 16 20 cylinder or spring segment of the wear of the right half of the view with the, from the 12 o'clock position maximum governor drive gear with the governor drive gear stub shaft clearance new and maximum thrust clearance new and maximum flexible coupling cram crankshaft pilot um, diameter maximum mounting bolt di diameter maximum thickness of the mounting bolt ma minimum clearance between the coupling disc at the rim rim bolts are bolts torque to the minimum coupling face run out maximum coupling rim and accessory maximum accessory drive coupling of the coupling advanced coupling to the subshaft the coupling to the rim run out and maximum equipment list per main bearing shaft of the shell remove with the selling ceiling compound um, gasket one pine third thread lubrication five gallon pin flange remover main bearing cap ab application removal of the tool with the upper main bearing with removal of the tool adapter nipple the variation gates accessory drive housing holding fixture accessory drive housing jacking fixture accessory drive housing jacking fixture accessory Drive housing and line engage at low hot, low hot, low hot, low hot water pumping application accessory. Low left hand water pump application accessory drive housing and lining engage right hand pump water pump application accessory drive housing and line engage oil pump application. 
right, that completes section um, six.